things that you're going to look, I'm going to show you how to do. Let's say that you're like, this is the time that I have to go on vacation and I don't know where to go, but I just want to go somewhere cheap. Give me anywhere. Search. And what this is going to do is it's literally going to show you a map of all the places that you could go and how much it's going to cost. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I started this channel out, uh, travel four years ago in 2015, traveling full time. And now I'm home in my home state of Minnesota creating my space here. But now that I've traveled full time for four years, I want to give you the tips and the things that I've learned. So last video I talked about how to stay safe while solo traveling. This video I'm gonna give you my five tips for how to get cheap flights because that's what people ask all the time. So let's just dive right into it. Tip number one is the most important thing. I think you're supposed to leave that to tip number five so people stay watching, so just stay to the end. But tip number one, your dates have to be flexible. So if you're like, I wanna go here on these dates, you're probably gonna pay the most. But if you can plan in advance a little bit and you have a little bit of leeway, that is the most optimal way to get cheap flights. So if you're planning a vacation, try and look at your flights before you pick your dates. That's it, be flexible. When I travel, I'm not on like a very strict schedule so I could show up a week early, show up a week late, kind of decide if I wanna go on a Wednesday or a Sunday or whatever. And that's how I find the cheapest flights. Tip number two is called Scott's Cheap Flights. So Scott's Cheap Flights, there's a membership that you can get in to get all the cheap flights. Otherwise, you can just sign up for a free, sign up for the email list basically, and it just looks at all of the airline's prices all the time. And when something drops below what it normally is, it sends you an email and it's like, hey, you wanna fly to Puerto Rico in this month or this summer? Here's the cheapest flights. It's amazing. So when we were planning on going to New Zealand, we just were like, oh yeah, we wanna go sometime in these dates. Scott's Cheap Lights came up and was like, New Zealand price is super low. This is amazing, so we went and bought them. Kind of leads me to my third tip because we didn't buy them outright. We used miles. So tip number three is get a credit card where you can get miles. So we saw on Scott's Cheap Flights that these flights to New Zealand from Minnesota were the cheapest during these dates. So then we hopped on our miles program and they reflected that as well. So to get a, you, so to use miles, you need to get a credit card. And credit cards, I could I could go into a lot of detail about how to get your good credit. Tim, the one thing that I have to say about getting good credit before you have a credit card, before anything, when you're, if you're in high school and you've got a debit card, always click credit. From what I know, and I'm not an expert, that helps to build your credit before you even have it, okay? Anyway, so you're gonna wanna get a credit card. I have, let me go get mine. So the card that I have is called a Capital One Venture Card, and this thing is like, I don't know how to show you what it, like, I don't know how to show you, but it's, it doesn't, it's like, seriously heavy duty. So this credit card does not bend. It's like super duper sturdy. It's like crazy thick, and people are always like, whoa, this is a really heavy card. Anyway, I put all of my money on that card, and then I just pay it off at the end of the month, so I'm constantly earning miles. So when I want to take that big vacation, I have miles that almost usually entirely pay for my trip. So that's one way to get free flights. I would say if you put all of your expenses on that card, you could probably get one flight a year, depending on how much you spend and depending on where you're going. Tip number four, Google Flights. Google Flights is where I buy all of my flights. And yes, I understand that there are other websites. There's a million ways to do this. This is just what I do. I think that Google, it, does, it excludes some airlines. So if you like an airline that's not on there, go check. But what I love about Google Flights, and I'm gonna get on the computer to show you exactly what Google Flights does. Google Flights is good for when you're starting your planning process. So if you don't have your dates or you don't have your location or you're kind of just up for going anywhere. So what Google Flights is good at is telling you what month is the cheapest, what location is the cheapest for your dates. Buying flights, is it scares me the most. I do not like doing it. So I like to just go on there and just trust that for the most part, I'm getting a good deal. So tip number five are two websites that I personally have never used, but people recommend to me all the time. The first one is, what's it called? The first one is called Skip Like. So one time in college, I was going from San Diego to Minnesota, but I had a layover in Chicago. So I went San Diego, Chicago to Minnesota. My roommate was going to Chicago. She had a flight that went San Diego, Minnesota, Chicago. And I was like, can we just switch flights and get off at the connecting flight? That's what Skip Like does. Skip Like is like, okay, so we found this flight that the layover is your destination and it's cheaper than most flights going to that destination. I hope I'm explaining this clearly. That's what they do, so that's really great. 
The only catch is if you do get off at the layover, you have to carry on your bags because if you check them, they'll go to the end destination. Momondo, and what they do is similar to what I'm gonna show you that Google Flights does. It just shows you the green days for when it's cheaper to fly. So let's hop onto my computer. It's not gonna be glamorous, it's just gonna be recording my screen and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so this isn't the fanciest setup, but we got me in the corner, hi. And then we have my computer screen that I'm sharing with you. So first you're gonna go to Google, go to Google Flights, perfect click on Google Flights. So there's two things that you're gonna look, I'm gonna show you how to do. Let's say that you're like, this is the time that I have to go on vacation and I don't know where to go, but I just wanna go somewhere cheap. Give me anywhere. You're gonna say, my vacation days are from cheapest flights, the cheapest times to fly are Tuesday through Thursday. So let's just say Wednesday to Tuesday, okay? Then you're gonna say search. And what this is gonna do is it's literally gonna show you a map of all the places that you could go and how much it's gonna cost. So you could go to Denver for 84 bucks during that time. You could go to Nashville for 168. This is round trips. So you see round trip, how many people? You could say, okay, I, where can I go for under 100 bucks? And move that all the way down. Boom. Denver, Las Vegas, New Orleans. It's even gonna show up on the side here and it's gonna show you the places that you can go for under $100. You can move this, let's just go to any again. You can move this down. So you could say, all right, I wanna go somewhere in the Caribbean. Zoom in. And now it's gonna tell you where you can go in these areas and for how much. So this is a great way to see where you can go and how much things are gonna cost if you don't really have a destination in mind, but you've got flights that you, or dates that you have to keep to. Okay, now let's say you're like, I've always, always wanted to go to France. You're gonna type that in. Don't worry about the dates right now. Then you're gonna click on the dates here and be like, you know what, I got flexible dates. I can go, I wanna go for two weeks, anytime, anytime in the next six months. So any, or if you're like, I need to go in October, no, my birthday's in November, I wanna go for two weeks in November, whatever. Then you're gonna click done. Now it's gonna tell you all the, Paris. Paris is 482, you've got Nice for 685, and all the rest are real expensive. So you should go to Paris. <laughs> You can adjust for round trip if you wanna go one way. So here's another thing that I love. Let's say that you're like, I need to go from Minneapolis to Phoenix to visit a friend, then I'm gonna fly over to San Diego, drive up to San Francisco, fly to San Francisco. You're gonna go round trip, multi-city. You're gonna go Minneapolis to Phoenix. You're leaving on, I'm just gonna let it populate the dates, but sure, the first. You go Phoenix to, what did I say, San Diego. Add flight, you're driving up to San Francisco. Minneapolis on the 9th, sure, search. Then it's gonna start populating these flights for you. So you're like, okay, cool, this is the cheapest date, done. And you're just gonna click through it until you find all the flights that you want. Last thing that I'm gonna show you are the dates. So when you type in Minneapolis to Phoenix, you can click on here and it's gonna populate the prices of the tickets. So if today's the 16th, I obviously found this a while ago, your cheapest day to leave is the 31st, done. Click it and then it says, okay, your cheapest returning flight is if you come back on Wednesday, but it's only $10 more to stay for Thursday, so you might as well. And it populates like that. So it's pretty much the greatest thing ever because when you're not sure about what date you want, and you can have the flexibility to move them around a little bit, it tells you if you wanna go out a couple of months, let's say your birthday's in November, boom. I like that it shows you the cheapest in green, which obviously the cheapest apparently is back here in September. So that's Google Flight, that's how it works, that's why I love it. All right, so now that you guys have got my five tips for how to get cheap flights. Flexible dates, Scott's cheap flights, using airline miles, Google Flight, two websites called Skip Liked and Momondo. Those are my best tips for getting cheap flights. If you have any more recommendations, please put them in the comments below. I would love to have a resource for anybody who's looking for that. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next Wednesday. Mwah.